Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Earlier today, I made a couple of videos on doing stuff like that, like this, and then I started playing around. And there's a lot you could do with this, and I haven't even scratched the surface. So I just, I drew, if you didn't watch parts one or two, you'll be a little bit confused, but I just, I drew this. So this line here is separate. And the good thing about doing it this way, you don't have to match up the corners when you're through as long as you don't mess it up too much. We're going to add node by selecting that and right clicking and add nodes. Or you can go up here and click nodes and add as many nodes as you want. Now you could do a lot with this and you could do a little bit with it. You know, if you grab three of the nodes and go outwardly and then maybe grab the other node and you know, you could draw that almost in Corel with that, with a full circle, but you're not going to be able to be symmetrical like that. And then I just, I'm just playing and take the twirl tool and let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it like four inches and grab that node right there and then twirl that one part. I don't like the way that looks, so I can twirl that a little bit. And let's just leave it like that and see what it comes up with. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a duplicate of that, move it over, because I'm gonna get rid of these lines and I am drawing in the center of the page like I always do. So when I control D and then alternate C and I rotate it, that 90 degrees, I get this, I get this looking object. Now, no big deal, but it is, it's perfectly symmetrical. Now we're gonna make it something other than a hairline. That's too thick. And then go up to object. And you could actually do several things to this. Convert the outline to an object, left click, right click. And you see my, the lines that where they join. Well, if you will select it all, and this time the weld tool works perfectly because now it's welded and taking those lines away. And then take your smart fill tool. I've got it set on black still, but you can make it black and then make it whatever color you want in the rainbow. And because we've used the smart fill tool, I'm going to nudge that out of the way. So I still have my lines, but my smart fill has created a new object that has no outline, it's just a fill, but you could always add lines to it, but you can take the lines away of this where you can't really take the lines away on that. And you could do a lot with this. I mean, you could control D and rotate it 45 degrees. Let's see what it looks like welded. Might not work at all. Work pretty well. I mean, how long would that take you to draw if you weren't drawing just a quarter of it at a time? That would, wouldn't be a terrible sun. So just kind of play around with that and see what you can come up with. And always you can, I'm going to move it out of the way so I just have the color. So I'm just going to nudge that out of the way. I always like playing with it with the interactive fill tool and just kind of go across and have yellow on this end. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then always, if you take a rectangle and make it black, it just makes it pop, makes the colors really stand out. Look at that. Anyway, I hope that gave you some ideas because you could put, I might make one more where you could put different objects in here and, and, and really, really play with it. Kind of a neat idea. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.